In Fallout 76, everything is RNG. It's a good system. Yeah. Hello, my fellow flibber flops. What's that? Today we're going to be building uh, right here near the Veiled Sunder Grove. This location was requested by one of my subscribers. So, uh, yeah. Please. Please. RNG. Please. Oh. Now, let's begin by building some foundations that are square to this rundown little house here that's next to the road. And we're going to build up and we're going to make a, it's basically a third floor platform. Uh, we'll worry about the middle area first. We're going to try to throw a roof on this bad boy. Um, but as you can see, it's not actually square to the build. Uh, we're going to need to take this down and adjust the foundations a little bit. Now you don't have to build an entire platform to determine if it's square or not. That's something I do because I think that it will make my life worse. And everything that I can think of to make my life worse is something that I will immediately jump to as, a th as something to fall back on in a pinch if I need. So let's throw these up here. This will be good as you can see and tell by my voice. I'm very excited today. More happy than usual. And that's because I recently hit 2,000 subscribers and I want to take this time to say holy shit and also thank you so much to all of you fabulous people and to all the people who bitched at me in the comments which obviously pushed the algorithm and made YouTube love me. For that, you have my undying gratitude but not my thanks. But for the people that were genuinely nice and didn't say mean things to me and bully me like everyone else in middle school, then thank you, for real. You get the actual thanks, so there. Now, I've put these doorways all the way around here because we're gonna eventually take the upper floor out of here. That's just a platform for us to put the walls on for now. Um, we can get rid of this, but not that. These walls are being held up by it. For some reason, it doesn't want me to do that, so I'm going to burn these lower walls so that there's nothing there being held up. It works every time. And then it thinks that it's fine to get rid of it, so we will. We'll get rid of it. Um, let's see if walls will be put down here. No. So we're going to fall in the hole and then also get rid of these. And we're going to get rid of everything uh, all the way down that way. Now to the, dis the describer, the, the subscriber who recommended harshly and with blunt instruments that I build here. Um, I just want to say, um, if you're still watching and have not unsubscribed, which would be even funnier, uh, thanks a lot. This was fun. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, of course. I'm not laughing about how bad it was to do, but how fun uh, Fallout is while we wait for an update. But an update's just around the corner, so then we won't have to build in these houses as something fun to do on a weekend, which is always good. Uh, this tree is a nice part of the landscape. Putting a foundation down obviously destroys it, but it'll be back later. And let's put some foundations here underneath the floorboards for god fucking sakes. That'll help. Uh, that's gonna come in handy in a pinch. Now, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I don't know. That's it. I don't... There's no... I... 
can't think, like I thought about it, went through the motions of thinking about it. Logically speaking, I can't really think of the reason why you would do that. I mean, maybe it'll help us out later if we try to put stairs in there. Yeah, that's that's the reason. <laughs> Silly. Of course that's the reason. <sighs> Expert gaming move. Also, I tried putting a doorway here so that I could put a normal ass door in this door frame. As you guys may know, if you can do that, and replace the doorway with a normal wall you can then re destroy the wall like delete the wall and the door will be there floating but it was too low into the ground which which sucks potentially you could build this entire thing a little bit higher up and that won't happen but I didn't really try that and the reason I didn't is because I didn't fucking want to do that you, th you think I want to redo this just so I can put a fucking door in the front I did but I chose not to you see we have to pick our battles here you know and we can either go to a workshop and fight someone named noxious pimp 45 or we can go fight Earl and lag out and completely fucking die because the game freezes and it makes you uncrouch while you're a stealth build or you could go fight the queen and uh get rads that don't show up until you're 40 feet deep into the nuke zone these are all battles that we can choose to fight why would I pick to choose to have to more? Let's have some English. As you can see by the fact that I'm building this roof right now, we're putting the roof on the build. Alright, that's going to be something special. Um, I don't know if the subscriber in question who wanted me to build here hates me, but as this build went on, I began to have a sneaking suspicion that they did because god damn I don't recommend building here I'm giving you a tutorial and I'm telling you immediately don't fucking follow it go somewhere else this sucks and I'm not saying that to be a Debbie downer because first of all Debbie was never a downer it was always fucking Karen that was being like that I'm just saying don't do it. Okay, that's that's all. Anyway, so I'm going to lower this part down half a wall because I thought it looked ugly. That's basically all I need to say at this point, right? So let's lower this down. Um, I actually need to put that back because I don't have a wall there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this over. Oh snap, you bastard. And then I'm going to put a half hole above it. And you can't get rid of that yet. But if you put a, the roof there, then you can get rid of it. Let's put a half wall there. And let's get the hell back out and cover up the hole we made in the wall. And everything's fine. I think that looks a lot better and less buggy, which is certainly a look we're trying to avoid. Yes, and now because we put our un uh, unspeakable foundations underneath the floor we can do this of course why would I do this when I can do this which is better I'll put the f yeah the stairs will go over here and not in the direct center of the room let's use our brain if we can have one um, I'm gonna sprinkle these half floors around where I can because some places you're not gonna be able to get right up against the wall because the wall is deciding to bow in like a bitch just god it's not fun okay no 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 no. I'm just kidding you obviously know I'm kidding you can tell that I'm being sarcastic this has been probably one of the most fun and rewarding challenges of my entire life um, I want to plant stuff in the floor uh, so I'm gonna pull this out here so I can uh, because it doesn't want me to put it in there well because it's like intersecting with a floor in here or something so that looks good, but maybe we can put it some like things 
like toilet? No. Uh, maybe this. Um, it doesn't really look like it wants to go all the way down. So, yeah, I'm gonna bring this back out. Put this on it out here. Not that one. Not that one. Shh. Not. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> and then, uh, then I'll put it back inside. Uh, fun fact, you can actually snap a normal foundation over top of a garden foundation, or whatever you want to call it, and it creates this nice little uh, illusion of plants sitting on the ground instead of in the ground. I'm going to make a side shed for the generator, which will also help uh, make this building look less tall and spoopy. And when I say spoopy, I don't mean spooky, I mean stupid and poopy, okay? Thank you. Uh, you can write that down if you need to. I don't know if it's going to be referenced later. There's not going to be, like, some kind of pop quiz. But, of course, that's what they all say, right? Oh, yeah, there's no quiz. And then, oh, by the way, uh, you just failed the class. Um, but that's fine. Like, bringing in high school memories isn't going to help me tell you how to build this fucking little beautiful dream of a place here in the cranberry goddamn bog so let's uh, throw this uh, on and I just made some double walls here I'm gonna make a special texture mixing some shack walls on the outside with contemporary on the inside which is gonna make kind of a little bit of the blues show through it's gonna make it look like peeled blue something I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore I'm just trying to do this okay um, let's turn this into warehouse and change these out to a little bit of wood. Um, there's not really much technical stuff to be had um, in this build, just mostly... Oh yeah, I was able to put this inside the wall. Watch this. And that kind of gives the illusion of a curtain of beads like you might see in certain camps where there are a Volkswagen microbus and lo the love of Jesus. Also, I want to put these uh, solar panels on the roof here, but obviously you can't put them on a slant roof because then they'll be floating, which is something I can't abide. There are such things as physics, and we here at the builders community of Appalachia, uh, I just made that up by the way, but we still believe firmly in physics. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn this roof that they're sitting on with this flame trap it's gonna make everything go away and then I'm gonna snap a slant roof where they're sitting basically yeah, I'll show you okay that's probably better my mouth has never been one of my best assets at communication let's snap this down and then I'll show you right right here snap it and then I just run over to the camp node and repair everything and those things will shove up through the roof like a ecological erection here you go very beautiful uh, why, I'm not gonna bother hooking those up to anything they're only for looks if I wanted to hook those up I probably would have gotten a degree in electrician in this which is by the way what you do if you're an electrician so let me just snap my hands wave my wand and kabam it's finished beautiful beautiful what you can do Blah, 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 joke about wasting money in the atom shop. Ha ha, we all laugh. But then we do it anyway because we hate ourselves. And we don't like the idea that we could possibly be saving up for our children's future. And instead we dump it down the drain because we hate ourselves even more than we hate this fucking game. I'm just kidding, guys. This is probably one of the most fun things I've done today at 5 o'clock. So, I also put some junk walls around back to give it kind of this scrappy look, kind of, kind of add some more texture, and I, of course, threw in the brambles. Um, as you can see, the tree does come back after you leave and come back to the server, and I left it there. It's kind of nice. I put this encampment gate, now that it's not fucked up like it used to be, for a back door. In here, of course, we've got the potatoes growing in the middle. We've got our shrine to Lucifer the Clown, or whatever the hell that is, I don't even know. And uh, we've got, um, everything's a little sunken down into the ground because of the foundations underneath are pulling the snapping point downward. 
if if that's a problem for you just raise the foundations up when you're building so that uh that they don't get sucked down so much but um we can look over here of course upstairs we have our junky junk crafty bit area kind of workshoppy looking stacks of stuff the tree that's growing not through the window but through the wall till the sweat drops down over here um, around I'll show you outside well let's take one last gander and trip on that ah shit you can tell I've been drinking uh, not just from this commentary but because I'm stumbling around like a fucking lunatic and over here is of course the generator shed I probably am gonna put more stuff in there that's kind of empty I do have budget left um, but I boarded up some of those windows with the weapons display and I think it adds an overall nice effect but anyway I just want to thank you guys so much for your support it's great to feel something that resembles what people call love and I really do reciprocate it back to you if that may be the case and I will see you in the next video